Hey, welcome back to Stupid Fast RC. You may remember last time when I had the HPI 5SC out, um, it wasn't going quite as fast as I thought it would. And the guys at uh, Hobby Tech put me onto something that uh, I hadn't thought of, and that's this here, the Castle Link. Um, basically, it's the C programmer, and that's it there. It's pretty small. Here's a picture of it hooked into the uh, HPI. What this does is uh, enables the controller to be programmed to do a whole bunch of things that it won't do just straight out of the box. And um, well, the practical upshot is that it can go a lot faster. And here's it going down the street doing a bit of a wheel stand. So this is something we weren't, it wasn't actually doing before. And um, well, it's a great improvement over what it was before. When I uh, thought about this some more. These other cars uh, here, the X01 and the Erevo, also have Castle ESCs in them and uh, I got to thinking maybe I could plug them in and of course the answer is yes you can. This same controller will run all three cars and um, the X01 performance wasn't greatly improved on what it was before but it is better. Um, you can control the throttle throttle curve and you can also control the brake curve which wasn't something we can do straight out of the handset. The other thing about the X01 is that you don't have to have an iPhone to make the changes anymore, you can actually override all those changes and get full throttle out of the X01. Now that may not be a great thing because you're overriding some of the uh, manufacturer's warnings but um, you can get around it. The E-Revo, the performance is amazing compared to what it is out of the box. And these are things that you just can't get out of the iPhone. Here it is going forwards and backwards. This thing will do a rear wheel stand. I mean, that is really pretty impressive. I've not seen too many cars do that. It'll actually forward flip and back flip straight over the top if you give it too much throttle. The performance of this car is just nuts. Um, I had it going down the street and doing a wheel stand for 30, 40 metres. Um, this thing just wheels the whole way. The power that you've unleashed uh, in this one tenth scale car is incredible. And even in the one fifth size HPI, it's still pretty cool. Um, overall, I, I thought this was a great breakthrough. Um, the cost of this thing is around about 40, uh, $45. It's the HPI um, kit. But um, it, it, here it is on screen. This is what it looks like when you actually pop it up on the computer. I've used a Windows computer. I don't know if there's an Apple computer version for it. It actually works really well. It's very simple to use. Each of the options has a little question mark box. You can click that box and it'll explain quite clearly um, what you need to do. If you want to change the throttle curve, you just click and drag on that curve and it changes. Um, and then uh, so it's it's automatic and also the other great thing is you can update all the firmware in the ESCs as well and I found that all the firmware in each of these cars was out of date and it was good to be able to hook in and actually update all that firmware. The X01 was probably the one the car the one car that didn't really uh, change much the other two the changes were dramatic um, I also want to reinforce as well, and this is something I covered off in a different video, if you're not um, using a LiPo charge bag, I think you need to. Um, you need to also take some pretty good proportion, precautions around um, keeping your LiPo safe. The uh, number of LiPo fires that the guys at another shop that I went to um, actually said that there'd been 10 fires that they were aware of. If uh, one shop's aware of 10 fires, then you know clearly that's that there's a lot more out there. So I really urge you to be safe with your lipos. Um, they they can cause a lot of damage, and uh, I've taken the charging mine outside on a uh, barbecue um, plate so that if something does go wrong, uh, at least it's in the right place and the fire's not going to go any further. Look, have fun, guys, and. Um, this is just an, uh, an awesome piece of gear. Love it. <laughs>